Hello viewers, we'll be going over WTI Kuro and the ETF ticker symbol XLE. In this video, we'll be going over the day-by-day -day probability model and technical performance of each model for XLE instead of WTI Kuro due to price volatility. So we'll be finding how the, each model is found and the day-by-day -day forecast for XLE. So back to the WTI Kuro, we're up 23% on the one hour chart. We, are, we were at overbought RSI, however, we start to see a divergence on the 1-hour MACD. That is for the 30-minute, and if we expand out to the 1-hour chart, we also got off of over, overbought RSI, and we have not diverged, and we are resting on the 9-moving average support. If we expand out further to the 4-hour chart, we are approaching to pause the MACD, and if we expand out more, Momentarily, I do see a possible support on, on the 4-hour chart. We found support around the price of $10.25, so that will be our first immediate support if we do reverse and head down lower. At the moment, we may encounter temporary resistance on the 50 moving average. On the daily chart, if we expand out further, we start to see sideways price action on the daily MACD, where off of oversold RSI and at the moment we may encounter resistance if we do continue to head up higher. The next resistance will be around the price of I would say $20 that coincides with the 18 day moving average this purple line and as well as support previous support that dated back to March 30th at around a price of $20. And if we were to continue to move up higher to the price resistance, that price movement is roughly around 33% to the upside. However, to the downside, if we do head down lower, the next support will be around 29.7% to the downside. So let's examine XLE. XLE has been outperforming compared to WTI crude oil. Oil companies have been climbing steadily over the past few weeks. And at the moment, if we do manage to climb higher, or let's examine the one hour chart. First, we're currently overbought on the one hour RSI. As for the four hour chart, we are also overbought on the four hour RSI. As for the daily chart, if we expand out, we now finally approach to positive MACD. And as for resistance, I do see a possible resistance that was made between the gaps of March 30, March, March 6 to March 9th, there was a gap down overnight, and that resistance we may encounter is around a price of $42.24. And as for support, if we do reverse to head down lower, the next support that I see is the 18 day moving average. That coincides with previous resistance, and since we're above resistance, that now acts as our support and that is around a price of $33.70. And if we do manage to reverse and head back to support, that is around 11.6% to the downside. And if we were to fill up the gap that was made back in early March, that price movement to the resistance is roughly around 10.4% 10, 10 to the upside. Now let's examine the day-by-day -day forecast for XLE. Again, this model is now available in the link below, so do check it out. So as the days progress to the seventh day, we have a 20% chance on the extreme case of XLE to continue to climb higher between 9.4% to 18%. As for the other hand, to the downside, we have a 60% chance for XLE to fall between 0 to negative 9%. And on the extreme case, we have a 20% chance for XLE to fall between negative 9% to negative 19%. So let's examine the day-by-day -day forecast for XLE. So we have one, one day out, two days out, three days out, four days out, five days out, six days out, and seven days out. So which one of these models we should focus on? Ideally, the model that is best matched to the current trend. The blue line is the current trend, and overlapping it is a trend that I believe is the best match. And this trend dates back to September 4th, 2008 to November 28, 2008. And below here is the current trend, and below that is the current trend, or the trend that I believe is the best match, the 2008 trend. 
So let's compare the two charts. So what we have here, we start off at the bottom Bollinger Band. We're back, we're back to the mean to the middle Bollinger Band. And then once more, dip lower to the bottom Bollinger Band. And we saw a nice reversal to hit the upper Bollinger Band. As for this trend right here, we start off at the bottom Bollinger Band. Revert back to the mean to the middle Bollinger Band. Dip lower to touch the bottom Bollinger Band once more. And then finally revert back to the mean or revert higher to the upper Bollinger Band. So one thing to note that these two patterns aren't clearly identical, but there are some similarities. There's differences between the bottom Bollinger Band and the upper Bollinger Band. In this case, we were at a sideways price action and compare that to the current trend that we're in. So we also have one, two, three, four points on the current trend, and we also have one, two, three, four points on the trend in question. So there's a reason to believe that the trends and patterns are the same. The outcome and forecast should be fairly the same. So the model that we just examined was March or September 4th to November 28th, 2008. Back then, WTI, or I should say XLE, fell around roughly around 8.8%. And if we head back to the day-by-day -day probability model, that coincides with this standard deviation of 60% chance between 0 and negative 9.4%. As for the technical performance of each model, the current trend that we're in, it is down, XLU was down 45% from monthly high, up 38% from monthly low, up 11% from 10 simple moving average, up 15% from 20 simple moving average, and up 6.6% from 50 simple moving average. Now, the trend that we just examined, XLE was down 41% from monthly high, up 20% from monthly low, and it was up 7% from 10 simple moving average, it was up 4% from 20 simple moving average, and it was down 3% from 50 simple moving average. And now the technical differences that are between these two charts are the 50 simple moving average. The trend in question that we just examined, it was down 3% from 50 simple moving average. Compare that to the current trend, we are up 6.6% from 50 simple moving average. So do keep that in mind. Again, these models are now available in the link below. So do check it out. If you enjoy this content, feel free to like, comment, subscribe. And thank you for watching.